everyone, it's today's set something with my own crafts. And I'm making another bat today. Today's bat is an alpaca bat, which hopefully at some point will wind up in my Etsy shop. Or there's a very real possibility it might be some type of fall shows. We'll see how that goes. Okay, anyway, this is a rose gray alpaca. Doesn't really show up that well. Um, in this light, so I'll have to go later and take some pictures of it in a different light. But rose gray is kind of a gray with a brown tinge to it. Because there's little tips of brown through here. And honestly, I really should know which animal this fleece came from. I kind of forgot. Uh, but it does come from uh, vintage alpacas uh, in Ohio. And here's a, just a little sample of the bat that I've already made. This is very nice quality alpaca. Kimberly knows her stuff. And um, I only carded it once. I really don't need to card it more than once. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I have basically switched to alpaca over wool when it comes to fibers that I process for other people and things that I process for the store. Because uh, as you may have noted from the previous video, wool does tend to take a lot. So I'm just gonna fluff this out. Now this staple length is not particularly long. Um, a lot of the staple length of alpaca I get is usually double this. It's not particularly long. You know how I love a longer staple length, but it's very doable. But because it isn't very long, it just gives me just a, a wee bit of grief on the drum quarter because it certainly likes to stay on the liquor as it's one of the fibers. So I thin it out like a good person. I, you know, I almost always lay everything into the drum quarter in one direction. It's tip to end or end to tip for all of it. I don't really scatter them. So I think my parted fibers come out a little more organized and less loft than you would normally get from a drum carded preparation. So that's just the way I lay them out on there. So you can see how all this is sticking across the liquor, basically because it is just short, shorter. Here we go. That's why I want to make it sound shorter. So that's not a bad length, really, to spread that out. And so, remember when I said about not pulling things off the liquor? This is going to be the exception to that. And this guy's only going to get one pass. It's just not going to need multiple passes, which is going to be so cool. I'd like to add some add-ins. I don't really have anything that I want to add in for this particular color of alpaca. So you'll have to wait till I break out the silver gray alpaca. And I will add in uh, some, maybe some silk, maybe some angora, maybe that fire star if I've located it since, you know, by that time. And, oh, that one's kind of stuck in there. I do try to pick out the VM when possible. And I'm going to go ahead and put this video on um, time lapse. So you can just see, look at that, how I do it. I do want to mention, though, that this fiber has been washed more than once. So although there is some VM, there is no dust and no residual body oils. I, uh, as much as I like to spin in the grease, I always say I don't spin in the dirt. So things are usually cold wash anyway. And alpaca will make me itch. The dust will make me itch if I don't wash it. And I mean, when I say wash alpaca, I mean there's soap in the water and it's moderately warm and rinsed very well. To get as much of that dirt out as possible and screen dry. So that's really important for me when it comes to alpaca. And I'm just pulling out some of the bigger pieces of VM 
and teasing it out. Uh, I, I want to say I mentioned in my Spinner's Book of Yarn Design on video that the drum carter is not here to remove VM from your fibers. You want to do that before you start drum carting because what's going to happen is the drum carter is actually going to grind those pieces and send them all through the back. So you want to get that stuff out before you start drum carting. It's not a picker. It's a carter. So in reality, that was like almost 20 minutes and uh, the time lapse turned it into about not even 30 seconds. Okay, so you can see this is nice and fluffy. Look at that. Um, that is probably just barely two ounces of alpaca since it does weigh a little less than some wools. You know, it's just going to be puffier looky thing. Just, just really nice and soft. This is a really nice prep to work from. I'm going to go ahead and card up another two ounces. And then I'll add this beauty to my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm hoping for the next video, I'm going to find the uh, Firestar. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to add Angora Rabbit. And probably some of the soft silk to the next bat to make it a little more interesting. Take care. Have a great day.